So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at a huge body of evidence, kind of the total body of the evidence we've collected over literally decades about, about creatine to ask two questions about creatine to see if they agree or disagree with the study. Here are our two questions. Does creatine cause actual muscle gain and not just lean, not just uh, body water gain? We test this, we do after washout period. So they have people train with weights and either take creatine or not. And then they don't test their lean muscle after the study. They test it a week later when they're no longer taking creatine. So they lose all the creatine bloat. And if that group still has more muscle gain than the group that didn't take creatine, well, it must have been something the creatine did because that was the only different variable. And the body water isn't even around anymore. So then creatine really actually caused muscle gain. The second thing we're going to look at is whether creatine enhances that weight training induced muscle growth in a way that's independent of water retention, which is really kind of the same thing. But we need to see, does the washout period account for that? And then later, okay, now we have the washout period. It really works. Does the creatine enhance weight training performance and muscle growth in a way that is reliable and happens with or without the creatine present? So, Took a look at a bunch of studies. I've summarized or I've, I've linked some of them for you in the description of this video. So if you want to take a 